So I'm going to give some tips on getting out of sand traps. This is by request by a viewer named Marie. Thank you so much for send, sending in the request. She asked that I give a few tips. Okay, so first thing that we're going to go over is obviously in the sand trap, you need to use a sand wedge. I'm going to be using a 56 right here for part of my demonstration, and I also have a 62. Now, the first thing that most people do wrong, everybody that I see that has trouble getting out of a sand trap, is they don't understand the concept of opening this club face. They need to open the club face to where it's pointing sky high. If this is what your club face looks like, what you need to do is you need to open it to where it's sky high, to where the, the face is pointing up towards the sky, okay? If you don't open that face way up, then you're gonna run the risk of digging too deep and you're gonna hit a low shot that's gonna hit the face of the sand trap and it's just gonna roll right back and you're gonna be super frustrated, okay? The second thing that we need to do is you may have heard of people talking about how you want to dig your feet in so you get a nice firm foundation. If you hear that, you're probably listening to somebody who doesn't really understand the sand shot. We're not digging our feet in to get a firm foundation. We're digging our feet in because we want to lower our body so that the bottom of our swing is way below the ball. What we need to do in this shot is we need to hit the sand, not the ball. And we're trying to hit the sand a good inch or two behind the ball. Now, I talked about opening up that club face. When you open the club face, another thing people will do wrong is they'll take their normal grip and they'll have the face in normal position and then they'll open it this way. Don't do that because what that's gonna do is when you come through, you're gonna roll it right back closed. What you do is you open the face first, then take your grip. So I have a very open face here. Very, very open, okay? Then you wanna take it up very steeply and you wanna come down nice and steep. You wanna hit down into the sand like you're trying to throw a bunch of sand out from underneath the ball, okay? When you first start learning this, you wanna go deep. Go as deep as you can, okay? And another thing, is don't try to swing real hard. I'm gonna show you, nice light shot here. Not a whole lot of force. That ball almost hit the flag. So it's very important that you just swing nice and mellow and you take a lot of sand. Another thing that people don't get, get right in this shot is the ball placement. Now I find if you wanna hit down and hit sand first and knock that ball up into the air, then it's very important that you put the ball forward in your stance. So I put it off my left heel, nice and forward. You wanna aim your body just a hair left of the target because when you have this open face, it's gonna come out a little bit to the right, and I don't mean it's gonna balloon, or it's gonna curve out to the right, it's just gonna come out a little bit right. So aim your body just a hair left of your target, put the ball forward, open up that face before you put your hands on it, take it up very steeply, that means early wrist cock, and then just drop the club down into the sand behind the ball. And it comes out nice and easy, just like that. Now. I have a 62 degree and I have a 56 degree. What are the differences? Well, the 56 has more bounce and it's a lower loft. So I'm gonna use this for a standard bunker shot. When I need to go really high because I have a very high lip, then I'm gonna use my 62. And those are really the only differences. I will say when you have real wet sand, you really need to focus on slapping down harder into that sand when you have light fluffy stuff, you don't need to take quite, quite as much sand. But anyways, key fundamentals again, open club face before you take your grip. Dig your feet in to get your body lower. Ball forward in the stance. Very upright backswing, slap it into the sand. That ball will come off out really nice and stop relatively quickly. Oh, I hope that helps. Thank you.